Hello, everyone. A very good morning, good afternoon, and good evening to everyone who's joined us today on our live session. And I welcome you all to Homeopathy Musing. So, we're going to be ending this very uh, knowledge filled month of July with today's session uh, with Dr. Chanda Shah, uh, which will be an interactive case solving session. So, before we move on to today's session, I'll quickly brief you through all the upcoming or the ongoing modules that are uh, going to be on our platform. As most of you might be aware about the animal series, uh, this month we'll be talking about the mammal group of the animal kingdom. And so far we've covered insects, spiders, sea creatures and mollusks. And uh, on the 29th of July, which is Monday, will be our live session on mammals. Uh, those of you who want to join or register for the course can do so. We have the Matadonal Remedies, which is a eight session course coming up in August, which will be taken by Dr. Ghansham Kalatia, sir. We have Dr. Dinesh Chauhan, sir, who will be there on the 16th of August on Homeopathy Musing, taking a two-hour session on the uh, homeopathic approach on autoimmune disorder. We also have Dr. Adil Chintanwala, sir, who will be coming on the 10th of October, taking a two-hour session on the homeopathic approach in cardiovascular diseases. Before we move on, I want to quickly brief you through the basic hygiene factors. So I advise you all to keep your lines mute all the time. For an interactive session, keep your videos on. In case you have any questions or queries, you can raise your hand and I can unmute you. Or if you have questions, you can also put it on the chat box and we can address it at the end. Do not scribble on the screen. Make sure you make notes and share your experience and enjoy. Uh, so today we'll be basically covering an interactive session that will be taken by Dr. Chanda Shah. Uh, I am sure uh, she needs no introduction. Uh, she will mostly be covering cases and her uh, practice reflects uh, the contemporary as well as the classical uh, approach of homeopathy. And those of you all who want to learn such uh, a, a combined method of classical and contemporary method of homeopathy and its application in uh, clinical practice, uh, there's an exciting uh, course that is coming on our platform soon. So do watch for the space and before any wasting any more time, I'll just uh, quickly stop sharing and I'll hand over to ma'am. Yes, ma'am. I think you are on mute, ma'am. You can unmute yourself, ma'am. Hello. Just one minute. Yes. Okay. Mm. Can uh, see my screen? Yes, ma'am. We are able to see you. First one, my baby, wear this headphone. Yes, thank you.
Okay, so ma'am, I think your screen has been zoomed in a lot. If you could zoom out and oh, you can't. Uh, मतलब the better now. Yes, yes. Okay, ठीक है. So we're ready to start now. <clears throat> yes, ma'am, we're ready. Okay. So uh, good morning. I've written good morning because. Just now is a siesta time. Everyone must be feeling sleepy, so I've purposely written good morning. And uh, I firmly believe by what I've written, a day without learning is like a day without breathing. Okay, so let's get on with the first case. So this is the case of allergic rhinitis, and uh, I'm going to share the case. i'm going to share the actual case paper okay so so that you get all the information and i have not edited at all so this is how i have taken the case uh, case in the clinic hmm? is my voice okay yes it's perfect okay thanks okay so <clears throat> this is a 41 year old male he came to me in october 22 <clears throat> so he has this problem of uh, morning allergy. There's a lot of sneezing since three four years. Then he said, actually, it is there since a long time, and uh, it is more since a week. And is aggravated by a fan on the nose, aggravated by stepping on cold floor. And he's saying, the moment I step on the cold floor, I start sneezing. And is aggravated by beer in cold weather. and then uh, because of that he avoids beer he has whiskey <clears throat> then he said he has dust allergy he starts with sneezing coryza there are one or two coughs but no throat pain then uh, there is rubbing of eyes lacrimation which lasts for one hour along with the sneezing okay then it is worse from undressing and fan and he has to take a blanket so he said moment i wake up and i put my uh, foot on the floor or i touch a cold tap i will start sneezing okay and the sneezing will go on for one hour and is better in summer <clears throat> and worse by rain and in cold weather okay so is worse by change of weather then no <clears throat> so uh, i ask him about the physical generals So he's saying his appetite is regular. There's a <clears throat> craving for dal and rice, or dal and cur. I mean rice and curd, fish, chicken, sweets. <clears> Thirst <throat> is for two liters per day. <clears throat> Stool urine is normal. Uh, sweat is only when he travels, and it's on the back. There's no smell or stain. Then. I ask him over the past history. <coughs> so he had uh, <clears throat> hypertension during COVID times, yeah. And he himself had COVID. Then earlier he had malaria and dengue, and also he had uh, jaundice and cough and cold. And there's a family history of asthma in the father, diabetes and hypertension in the mother. and his uh, grandmother died of uh, liver failure and he said he can tolerate hot weather better so he's a chilly patient okay doesn't want fan or ac so on the skin there are a lot of acne marks <coughs> for which he has done some local application <coughs> he sleeps well <coughs> now this patient no <coughs> he spoke there are some people in your practice who come and talk a lot okay so then you don't know where to focus <clears throat> where to put your attention where <clears throat> this guy he is a introvert he spoke very little so <clears throat> i had to find the remedy in whatever he said yeah 
So he said, <clears throat> I'm an introvert. I take time to mix. Prefer being silent. He likes to play cricket. He likes outdoor activity instead of being at home. Then he likes traveling. Then he has a younger brother by six years. So then I'm, you know, pushing him to talk a little bit. He says, I was uh, born in Mangalore. And I used to be very silent as a child. Even now he's an introvert. Yeah. So at home, he used to be home at all the time. Either he would be studying or reading. And he's done his BCom and MBA in marketing. <coughs> so he said, <clears throat> all my friends, they went into marketing. So I also went into marketing. I just went with the flow. So he's uh, very disciplined in studies, very obedient. His father was very strict and he would beat him occasionally if he did not study. And his rank was third or fourth in class. Then uh, now he's working in Times of India since six years. And now he's got a better profile. So I said, what work you do? So he said, I uh, get ads for, you know, for the mobile apps and get advertisements for our websites. Huh? So he's working for Times of India in the sales department since 15 years. And then uh, in the past history, I told us no, that he got uh, hypertension during COVID times. So then I asked him, you know, okay, what happened? So he said, uh, uh, during COVID times, now there was no business. With Times of India, numbers were not happening. And that time he was getting headache regularly. And uh, his blood pressure was high. He said, I could not meet my targets for six to eight months. Hmm? So there was fear of losing job. <clears throat> and he had a monthly loan to play, home loan to pay. So there was a lot of, lot of tension. Okay. <clears throat> then he said, they push us to work extra to get, to get revenue, to get money. So he would get irritated. So he said, we had <clears throat> team meetings. A lot of grilling was done. How much work you are doing? Whom did you talk to? How many calls you made? So there was too much micromanagement by the boss. You know, The boss was pushing him to get more and more advertisements. But he said it was COVID times. Everyone's business was down. So who is going to spend money on advertisements? But the boss would not understand. He would keep on telling him. You know, he could keep on pushing him. Get more work. Get more work. So that was annoying him. <clears throat> he said the boss was very irritating. And then luckily for him, that boss left. So that time, he took the blood pressure medicine for six months. So he said the boss was getting into our space. He was asking too many questions. You know, he was the boss was nagging, you know, okay, you did three meetings. <clears throat> Why not five meetings? So then I asked, so what you felt when the boss was pushing you so much? So he said, you feel heavy, stressful. Now the work is relaxed after the boss left. Now the work is smooth. There is no load of work. Then like <clears throat> I'm pushing him for more information. Okay. So then he's saying, I'm asking him how many kids you have. She's saying, I don't have kids. I've decided, I mean, I can't handle kids. It's too much responsibility. So he has a niece living with him. You think the niece is shaitan. She's like a devil. Who will run after her? So they've decided not to have kids. So then I ask about the uh, interest hobbies. <clears throat> so he says it's cricket, traveling, uh, they're going to a new place, being with friends, uh, having a drink together. He said, I don't like to take medicine. I tolerate. And he said, I avoid cold places. So then, <clears throat> like I said, he's not talking much. So I'm pushing him a little more, you know, to say something. Tell about your work with Times of India. He said, now that the boss has left now, now the work is easy. We don't need to push. We get business easily. We just need to be in touch with the client. So 
I <clears throat> call up the client one or two times a month. I build a rapport with the client and that's it. No pushing, no micromanagement, no nagging. Okay. He said, colleagues and uh, boss are now my friends. <clears throat> I know my work. I'm good at it. My boss is happy. I'm sincere, punctual. No cheating in work. Mm, then he says, if there's work pressure, I leave the job. Okay. So in between, with that Times of India, he had left the job and again he rejoined. Okay. And then he said, if there are arguments with the boss, I leave job. But if the arguments are fair, it's okay. Hmm? Then he said, I put my point across in a good way. Unnecessary kit kit, unnecessary nagging. Like, no, get work anyhow during COVID times. That is not good. The boss would say, Kuch bhi karke, get, get some advertisements, get, get some advertisements, get, get some work. So he said, we knew that during COVID times, everyone's business was down. From, so from where the work will come? So that is how he is. Hmm? So that time, because of the pressure of the boss, he would get by temporal headache. You know? And then he said, describe the headache using, as if someone is pressing. That is better by walking, better by jogging. Okay. So then he said, I love exercising in the gym, but I left it because of cervical pain. Okay. Then uh, further he's saying, I like nature, I like open air. So again, I'm you know pushing him. So what's your aim in life? He said, I want to grow in my field. Go to next level. I want a good life. I said, what do you mean by good life? He said, regular travel, going out on weekends. Hmm? So that's that's what his requirement is. So he's saying, I want to work five days a week. And the other two days, I want to go out. Okay. I want to feel free with friends by playing cricket. You know, See, I like to go on a drive and I like to chill with friends. Okay, so he's very clear. He's saying, I don't want to work on weekends. Hmm? Then he's saying, I don't like to stay at home on weekends. <clears throat> saying, mind should be free. So he's saying, no phone on weekends. That means no phones from office on weekends. Then he has three to four good friends. <clears throat> I checked his BP. It was 120.80. So he's saying, I have a lot of patience. I stay away from physical fights. Uh, it's a waste of energy to fight, no? I want to stay quiet and go away. I ignore. So then he's saying, it's not right, you know? I don't leave my work early. Like, one must work 10 to 6 p.m. Okay, you're supposed to work 10 to 6 p.m. And you should not leave work early. He's very clear about it. Huh? And he said, I don't like work from home. Okay, so this is all I got from him. Like I said, he's introvert, he doesn't talk much. So that is all the history I got from him. So, uh, like I said, this is an interactive session. So you want me to read the case again, so that you get a better idea what to give. Hmm? So, uh, what is everybody saying? Yes, ma'am. So, there are a few suggestions. Uh, Irfan writes, Pulsatilla, mild with anger suppressed. Uh, no, no, one, write... one minute, one minute. Uh, okay. Uh, I would prefer, if, so, no, you read the case again. Because I think I was coughing a lot. So oh. I request uh, Vaishali. Vaishali, are you there? She was going to read the case again. Can you unmute her, Vaishali? Yes. Are you there? Vaishali? Oh, Vibhuti? Okay. 
can unmute yourself. I don't know. I think she's not there. Vibhuti. Or Vaishali Panda. Vibhuti is there. Panda? Uh, yes. I can't hear her. Have you unmuted her? Yes. Yeah, I can hear. I'm okay. there. Okay. Yeah. So just yeah. read the case Unmute. again. Huh. Little bit. So that people get a better idea. I was coughing a lot. Huh? Okay, go on. Okay. This is a case of a male who is 41 years old. His chief complaint is he gets allergies in the morning, sneezing, since about three to four years. It's more since one week. It is more when there is a fan on his nose or when he walks or steps on a cold floor. This causes a lot of sneezing in the morning as well as night. It also increases when he has beer in the cold weather, so he prefers whiskey. Besides this, he also has dust allergy, which also starts with sneezing and coryza, and there are one or two coughs, but there are no there is no throat pain. He rubs his eyes. There is lacrimation, which lasts for about an hour. It is also aggravated by undressing and fan. So he takes a blanket. On waking, when he takes the step on the floor, mm. or he washes the, with cold tap water, then the sneezing starts. He's better in summer. It is also more, more during the rains and the cold weather or change of weather. He feels uneasy. His appetite is regular. He craves for dal and rice and yogurt. He is habituated to eat fish, chicken and also sweets. First, he drinks about two liters of water in a day. His stools, they are regular. His urine is also regular. He sweats when he travels on his back, but it has not staining or any smell. He's got past history of high blood pressure during the COVID time. He also suffered from COVID, from malaria and dengue. He had also jaundice and cough and cold. He's got a family history of father having asthma and the mother diabetes and hypertension. Father also had liver failure which caused ascites. He can tolerate hot weather. He's a chilly patient. He doesn't need AC or fan. He had acne in the past, which has left marks, for which he had used local application. He sleeps well. His nature is an introvert. He takes time to mix. He prefers being silent. He likes playing cricket and outdoor activities and he also likes instead of traveling. He has a younger brother by six years. He was born in Mangalore. He was very child, silent as a child. He used to be at home all the time studying and reading. He did BCom and MBA in marketing. All his friends used to uh, do marketing, so he decided to go with the flow. He's very disciplined in studies. He's very obedient. The father was strict, would beat him occasionally if work was not done. He would come as third or fourth rank in his class. 
Now he is working in Times of India since six years. So he's got a better profile. He does ads on mobile apps and websites. He's in the sales department since 15 years. During COVID, there was no business with Times of India. Numbers. And not much numbers, were, numbers not happening. were not happening. So this would give him headache regularly. Even the blood pressure increased. He couldn't meet targets for about six to eight years, which months, led months. to six to eight months. Sorry, six to eight months. This led to him fearing that he would lose his job, and he also had a home loan to pay. The boss would push him to work extra to get the revenue. This would irritate him. We we had a team meeting. And a lot of grilling was done as to how much work you need to do. Who do you? Whom, whom did you talk to? How many you, calls you made? They, the boss would micromanage him and this annoyed him. He felt the boss was irritating and so he left. At that time, his blood pressure was more and he took blood pressure medicines. The boss was getting into our space, asking too many questions. You did three meetings, you should have done five meetings. This made him feel very heavy and stressful. But now, after leaving, he feels relaxed and work is smooth. No, there is no load of work. So when asked about kids, he says, I can't handle kids too. I feel kids are too much responsibility. So he gives example of his niece, who is Shaitan, who will run, who will run after her. When asked about his interest and hobbies, he said he likes cricket and traveling to new places, also being with friends. Drinking. He said, drinking. I don't like to take, be with friends drinking. He doesn't like to take medicines. He would rather tolerate it. And he avoids or doesn't like cold places. At work, when in times of India, I don't need to push now. Got business easily. We need to be in touch with the client. So I would call up one or two times, build a repo with the client. The colleagues and boss are my friends. I know my work. I'm good at it. The boss is happy. I'm sincere, punctual. There is no cheating in work. If there is pressure, then I leave the job. I do. I avoid arguments with boss. I leave the job. If arguments are fair, then it is okay. I put my point across in a good way. I don't like unnecessary kit kit or nagging. I get work anyhow. During COVID, the boss would say, because of pressure of boss, I got a bitemporal headache. As if someone is pressing, which got better when I would walk and jog. I love exercising in the gym. Left it because of my cervical pain. I also like nature and being in open air. I aim to grow in my field, to go to the next level, have a good life, regular travel, going out on weekends, work five days, 
or in two days i want to go out and feel free with friends play cricket go on a drive chill with friends don't like to stay at home on weekends my mind should be free no phone calls from office on weekends i have three to four good friends when dr chanda measured his blood pressure it was 120 by 80 he has lot of patience he stays away from physical fights because feels it is a waste of energy i stay quiet and go away i ignore it's not mm. right don't leave work early must work from 10 to 6 pm he was very clear about this i don't like to work from home okay that's the end of the case yeah okay thanks vibhuti the challenge to read my handwriting good case so it was a challenge to read my handwriting i bet huh so what is in the chat Pulsatilla, Lacovis, Tuberculinum, Natrum Salve, Delcomara, Kali Arts, okay. Anybody else wants to say? animal kingdom school age okay anybody else mm okay uh calcarea carb or mollusk please describe underlying myism and disease progression Hmm. Kali group. Why Kali group? Hmm. Along with the remedy, right? Little bit. No. Why you are thinking of that remedy? Calcarea silicata. <clears throat> Anybody else? Rust stocks to start with. Rust stocks to start with. Okay. Hmm. Okay. So I'll tell you what I did. Okay. So oh, when the case starts, no. He tells us, no, there's uh, allergies there. Was my fan, and he's aggravated by stepping on coal floor. <clears throat> Then uh, either by even by touching on the coal tap, he's getting sneezing. Aggravated by change of weather. Okay. so up till now no we get so many modalities right so i'm like thinking of maybe it's a plant remedy not 100% sure but usually there are a lot of mod modalities come up then you think of plant remedy okay and like now we have read the whole case right so there doesn't seem to be any animal energy no there's no victim aggressor story to him right he's not talking about any uh, any other person he's just talking about himself so animal remedies is out Also, is not talking about any lack or loss. Okay, so there is no mineral remedy. Also, yeah, so it's more of a plant remedy. That is what I thought. Hmm, and then I'll tell you more. 
so i'm showing you a different way of solving the case okay now what are the important things in the case okay what he resonates with yeah so he said no i like outdoor activity i like traveling then very important he got high blood pressure during covid okay so so why he got that blood pressure because he had that fear of losing job and he was annoyed with that micromanagement by the boss yeah then i said how what you felt with that boss getting always uh, telling him why you did three meetings why not five meetings so what you felt so what did he say you feel heavy now it is relaxed now the work is smooth so what are you getting here one sensation and the opposite sensation right so this is where you need to see a plant remedy okay then he said there is no load of work now after the boss left there was no load of work okay so heavy relaxed load okay then when he said having kids is too much responsibility if there is pressure i leave my job and what is the type of headache headache is also pressing then he said i like nature open air okay he likes good life travel go out on weekends and what he said i want to work 5 days and on the weekend i want to go out and feel free okay feel free yeah I want to go on a drive chill with friends mind should be free okay so now someone will tell me which plant family it is i already showed it but still yeah anuprita you are right it is hemimelide okay yeah kinari subclass 2 correct nivedita also hemimelide right okay so then chalo it is hemimelide okay so what is the sensation of hemimelide all this is there in the patient no heavy load then he wants to feel light yeah and again there is heavy and drag down then he wants to be in the open air right so these is all from the <clears throat> hemimelide family which belongs to subclass 2 now there must be some people who are uh, not familiar with the personal evolution method right so i'll just do a brief uh, understanding of what is personal evolution method so far with the uh sensation method we've come up to hemimelide right okay now this is a plan chart okay <clears throat> now everybody knows the uh, uh the periodic table in minerals right so <clears throat> the periodic table was done by n shorten and dr shankar hmm? and then now dr mahesh gandhi now means since maybe 4 5 years now uh he has brought out a plant chart based on and an animal chart based on similar principles as we saw in the periodic table of minerals okay somebody is scribbling on the screen please stop it okay so here in the plant chart you see there are nine rows and six columns okay and the plant is divided into six subclasses 1 2 3 4 5 6 so here the subclass 1 is similar to row 1 and row uh, row 1 of the uh, periodic table where it has hydrogen and helium okay then subclass 2 is similar to uh, the left side of row 2 in minerals left side of row 2 is lithium beryllium boron and carbon right then subclass 3 in the plants is similar to the right side of row 2 in minerals where there is nitrogen oxygen fluorine okay <coughs> then subclass 4 in plants is similar to <coughs> row 3 in the mineral mineral uh, table 
Two three mineral table is what natrium, your magnesium, alumina, etc. So your this is similar to subclass four, which has all this malvalence and all this, and this is also called the nutrition line. Then subclass five <clears throat> is similar to row four of periodic table, where where all that kali, calcarea, all that is there. And subclass six is similar to row six of mineral kingdom. Where you know, like in the row six, there's aurum, mercury, etc. So in the subclass six, you have remedies like nuxomica, ignatia, china, etc. Okay. So, uh, so each row, no, like this is like row one. This is like row two, left side. This is row three, left, uh, row two, right side. This is uh, row four. This is Row five, row five. I'm sorry, this is row four again. This is row three of mineral mineral kingdom, and the last is super class subclass six is row six of mineral kingdom. Okay, so slowly as you see, when you go from left to right, no, slowly you're developing more and more. Okay, so the first three subclasses are in the uh, womb stage, and then in the uh, fourth subclass you come out in the world like natromure. Natrium you want what love care nutrition so similarly subclass four is also like that and then this subclass five is like row four when you go out in the world you study you make money look after your family look after your health etc and subclass six like how in row six is about taking up power responsibility similarly subclass six is about that taking up responsibility so this I am telling you in short otherwise like it's too long a subject to talk about yeah. And similarly, as you go down in the row also, you're maturing. Like in the, in the first row, you're, you're in the mother's womb. And then slowly as you go down, you're developing slowly, slowly, you come to school age. Then you become an adult and then it's old age. Okay. So, <clears throat> in the uh, mineral kingdom, you're, you're growing from left to right. Whereas your it is slightly different. Okay. So, I mean, this is in short about people who don't know about personal evolution method. Yeah. So, this person, this patient is from subclass 2. Like, everybody said, no, it is from MMLD family. Yeah. So, let's study the MMLD family. MMLD family is found in subclass 2. So, what are the main words here? Here or there? So in subclass one, they are more in, they are still incarnating. Now, uh, this subclass one, it is up to three months of life. Okay. And uh, subclass two is from three months till the time of labor. And subclass three is about the process of labor. Okay. So let us talk more about subclass two. Here, the ego is further developing. And now the whole idea is whether I'm here or there, whether I'm in or out. Should I be in or out? So that is the crux of subclass 2. Now, Dr. Shankaran has put all the remedies in one family. That is Hemimilide. But now, uh, uh, Mikhail Yakir and Dr. Mahesh Gandhi, they have divided it further as per their inner age. Okay. So the Hemimilide sensation is common to all the remedies in subclass 2. Okay. So this is these are all the remedies in subclass 2. And all of them have this common sensation. This is heavy drag down, light, free. No? All this is the common sensation of the whole subclass 2 and not only of the Hemimlede family. So we have to find a remedy for our patient from all these remedies. And how will we find out the remedy? By deciding upon the inner age of the patient from here, from this. Whether he is uh, before life, that is whether he is like, uh, like a child in the womb or is a little more independent, whether this anal stage means when you have control over the bowel and bladder, and early childhood will be when the child starts to take the initiative. Then school age is about you know going out into the world, learning discipline, education, working hard. That is about school age, and <clears throat> adolescence is about like doing something new, doing something creative. And young adult and late adult is about taking up responsibility 
and old age is about like slowly you are declining no you slowly you are in the last part of your life okay so <clears throat> now which age is this patient belonging to anyone can say which age school age uh, bindu you are right it is school age anyone else okay so so let us confirm it yeah so this patient is talking mainly about his work no all the time he is talking about how he is working in times of india nothing else he has to say and as a child also he was very sincere studying reading he is very disciplined obedient his father was strict very sincere punctual so he is following all the rules yeah no cheating at work he said it is not right one must not leave from work early one must work properly from 10 to 6 okay so he is a very sincere obedient person and he is following all the rules so all this points to school age okay now school age there is juglan dialis family and in that there are two remedies juglan c which is tuberculomyosin and juglan r which is syphilis myosin okay so i gave juglan c 200 and the patient is doing very well okay now every case of course you must repertorize okay so i also repertorized the case and i took so many rubrics okay whatever the patient told me hmm so many rubrics i took and i came to all this so natromu like natromu doesn't fit no in the whole case he is not sepia he is not vp like pulsatilla then he is not ambitious like noxomica no he is happy work five days two days chill okay so he is not noxomica he is not caustic he is not worried about everybody no then he is not arsenic like no greedy greediness is there no fear is there then he is not mercury mercury is what all that fighting rebellious nature he is not that type he is not phosphorus friendly or that he is very introverted He is not tuberculidum and calcarea thuja. He is not that cautious type. Neither is he calica. Doesn't he doesn't have any fixed ideas. So not silica. Uh, silica. So like that. In some cases, no, you may repertorize, but then <clears throat> you won't get and you won't know what to give. So that's what I felt. Okay, better in this case, I do the sensation method and then I apply the personal evolution method also. Okay. So. If you go to see the rubrics, it covers only two rubrics: headache, temples, and exercise, exertion, amino acids. Okay. So now, some people who are not familiar with this method may feel, you know, like they may not be uh, uh, convinced about this. So I've got this feedback from the patient. So he said, uh, "I am seventy to eighty percent better." Okay. So hardly he's he's been coming since twenty <clears> two. <throat> and he must have taken like one dose in 2 3 months not more and his uh, sneezing and all is much better okay so a little bit more i want to tell you about subclass 2 okay uh, so subclass 2 is neither here nor there between the worlds because they are still in the mother's womb now they are just separated not fully incarnated initial separation has occurred but one has not come fully into one's own so they feel small weak they are striving to be strong they are easily failing in achieving this so the key words here are indecision so immature and confusion so his friends were doing market marketing so he also went into marketing right and there's floating and disconnection from reality versus an effort to acquire strength in this reality they strive to have a solid self but succumb to feeling of smallness and powerlessness small and unprepared versus trying to become bigger and stronger so they are trying to manifest and materialize so for them like is a burden taking on responsibility he didn't want a child no too much responsibility and he talked about this work like a load carrying the load without the requisite strength and then you feel heavy and dragged down by worldly pressures they want to be light and free and they even have dreams of flying 
So all these sensation words are there, heaviness, effort, strain, crashing under the burden, and Sisyphean efforts. It's like carrying a heavy boulder uphill. Because <clears throat> they are not that mature, no? They are still in the second subclass. They are not mature like how people are in the subclass six. And they feel as if they are in a dark, small space cut off from life. They feel stuck and suffocated in this place. Okay. So he said, no, he does not like work from home. Because work from home, you are in a room and all the time you are sitting in the room and working, which he doesn't like. He wants to be free in the open air. Hmm. So if they open themselves too much to the world, they feel alive, but then they feel vulnerable. Okay. Boss is arguing too much. He wants to leave the job. Yeah. So this is subclass 2, MMLD and uh, uh, Juglans, Senior Area. Okay. So <clears throat> any comments? Everyone agrees now? Materia Medica is there. You can read up the no symptoms. So, some cases you cannot do with uh, repertory and you have to go beyond that. So, you can apply the other methods like sensation and personal evolution method. Hmm. So, when you read when you read the case, you feel Are, only this much is there. But then you, you read a lot. Source books. Uh, you have to uh, read uh, Sensation by Dr. Rajan Shankaran and Personal Evolution Method. There are uh, books are there which uh, Dr. Mahesh Gandhi has written. So we'll go on to the next case. No, I did not give one M. Two hundred is enough. Hmm? We we'll go on to the next case, okay? How frequent I must give must have given one dose in two, three months. He responded very well. He did not need frequent repetition. Yeah, you will get the recording. Okay, so we move on to the second case, okay? Remedy is Juglan Senior Area, Juglan C. This is white walnut. Mm. Only on chili basis you cannot give Sorainam, no? You have to see the whole case. How to rule out kingdoms? I mean, like you read the whole case, there was no victim addresser issue, no? And uh, if it's a mineral, there'll be issue of lack or loss. So that is also not there. And he has clear cut sensations, you know, heavy, light. One sensation on the opposite sensation is plant remedy. Okay, so now let me move on to the second case. You can see my screen? Yes. Case with multiple complaints? Yes, yes. You can see, no? Okay, fine. Chalo. So we start with the second case. Okay. 
So uh, this uh, patient, no, he has been coming to coming to me for more than eight nine years, and uh, the initial history I have lost. So I have written down whatever I could find. Okay. So this is a fifty year old male. He had Hodgkin's lymphoma. So for that he has taken chemotherapy, whatever, and after that he has come to me. Then he has uh, fatty liver, reflux, anxiety, IBS, etc. Then there is uh, fear, uneasiness in the stomach because of fear. Said I lose my cool. I can't cope with fear. I'm afraid that that lymphoma will come back. My mind is cluttered. I want to take Restil tablet. Restil is a anti-anxiety medicine. <clears throat> so I want to take that Restil tablet and go into a zone. Nothing should affect me. My mind is not at peace. I have fear of losing my business. And he's saying I can never say no. I have to take all the decisions. I can't cope anymore. I am tired. I am happy when I have beer. I need to be strong. I love to run. I need peace, similar to when you have alcohol. So with alcohol, he wants to relax, he wants to chill. Okay. I said the first thought on waking up is negative. If I sit in car, I think, what if there's an accident? My son should settle down. My work should be good as my son needs it. I need to focus on work. We need the money. When I feel like killing my wife, she nags me endlessly. So there's a lot of load on me. Okay. So based on this and some other symptoms, I had given him Naksumika. Okay, it's a long back. Then he said, I have reflux. There's some drip in the throat. I keep coughing. There's irritation in the throat. I have to keep clearing my throat. I have to talk a lot on the phone. And throat feels better with hot drinks. So that time I gave him Hiparsal. Okay. So <clears throat> then let me tell you the background of this patient. You know, like some people, some patients are loyal with you. No, they stick with you. They stick with homeopathy. But this guy, he will take homeopathy, he will take allopathy, you know, like little bit <clears throat> cold and sneezing and sore throat he'll have, he'll go to an ENT doctor. Stomach problem he'll have, he'll go to a gastroenterologist. Okay. So he has no patience. And <clears throat> somehow like, or in between he would stop coming, then suddenly he would come back. He was that kind of patient. Then uh, he came with a stressful situation. His uh, widowed aunt was uh, looked after by his cousin. Okay. So the cousin had kept a maid for that aunt. So then he came to know that the aunt was being <clears throat> ill-treated by her maid. So this patient was shocked. What will happen to my aunt? I thought I was done with responsibility. Now I will have to take responsibility of aunt, which she doesn't want to take. <clears throat> he said it will be difficult for me as she stays far away. The maid was taking advantage of aunt. Her house was like a slum area. And moreover, the maid spoke to my patient in a very rough manner. Okay. So he was like very shaken up. Saying, how anyone can do this? I'm very upset. I'm very sensitive and emotional. I felt bad for my aunt. Okay. So his wife said, Are, why are you bothered? Just put her in a senior citizen home. Nah. Why are you bothered so much? But this guy was all shaken up. Okay? How my poor aunt, what will happen to her? Huh? <clears throat> so uh, he said, I'm nervous. What to do? I was confused, scared and upset when I saw my aunt. So like our previous patient, this fellow also has fear of taking up responsibility. <clears throat> so <clears throat> then he's saying, I have to work. I have to see how my son is faring in USA. 
I have multiple things in my mind. And I feel responsible for everybody. I can't pass the buck. I get palpitations. My head gets heavy. I have too much on my head. I can't multitask. I need to be in control. I need to be calm. I get very hyper. Anxiety is at peak over trifles. I'm doing everything possible for my wife and son. But no one does anything for me. I am on my own. I need little care, polite talk, pampering. Okay? There is too much pressure on head. Hmm. I should be able to hold myself. I want to put my head in ice. I want to check into the Taj Mahal hotel and stay there alone. Hmm. So again, same thing like our previous patient. He's saying responsibility is like a burden. Okay. So that time this was some time back, I had given him Ignatia. Okay. So then, with Ignatia, his reflux, heartburn was 80% better. And then he told me this medicine was good. That constant cough has stopped. He said he can do work better. Then he got COVID and his reflex and cough increased a lot. So then that time, I gave him tubercular aviar. Okay. Then, there is a lot of yellow phlegm in the throat. I have to keep clearing throat. The voice is hoarse. There is constant cough. I think my wife is getting irritated. So she tells him, you are coughing like a TV patient. As a post-nasal drip. So then I gave him causticum, which helped him for a few months. Okay. So this guy, because he is not regular... And he's changing doctors all the time. I have not been able to come to a constitutional. So what I do, whatever symptoms he comes with, I repertorize those symptoms and give him the acute remedy, whatever comes. Okay. Then his ultrasound was showing grade 3 hepatomegaly, non-obstructive right renal calculus and mild bulky prostate. Okay. Then I added calcarea float 6x. Why? Because of that uh, hepatomegaly and uh, because he had a past history of uh, that Hodgkin's lymphoma, no, cancer. So I said, let, let me give this. And then he's saying, I enjoy co company and have beer or wine once a week. I love to travel. And again, in between, he got some viral and again, he started antibiotics. Okay, so all the time, He's either taking antibiotics or he's on medicines like, you know, OSID, pantoprazole, whatever. Hmm. <clears throat> so he said, I want to work hard till 65 years, then take a break, have fun and travel. See, I hate Monday mornings as there are multiple things to do. Then he had an interesting dream. So he said, uh, my dad was in a meeting with me. I was doing the talking and he was observing me. I said, how you felt in the dream? I think I was very relaxed. No, I felt secure that my dad was with me. If you have father by your side, you have the world with you. We shared a special bond. He would calm me down. I am very hyper by nature. Okay. Then, again he got few episodes of cough cold, which were better with causticum. Then he got diarrhea. Again he took antibiotics. Okay. Then after the antibiotics, he was had bloating of abdomen, nausea, burping, anorexia. So then I gave him China. Okay. So you see, I am just giving him whatever he's coming with. So, and slowly at the same time, I'm collecting information. Okay. Sometime I'll able to find his constitutional. Okay. At a later stage, whenever 
possible. I'm going to try and find his constitutional. Okay. So then <clears throat> once he came, he said, I have fear of business failure. I take care not to hurt my staff. I have 60 people working for me. I am fed up of handling everyone's ego. I can't work without them. I have to control my anger. I want some peace in the head. You know, there is chaos everywhere. A lot of clutter at home and office. <clears throat> and this clutter, no, it confuses me. I breathe heavily. <clears throat> I'm not calm in my head. There are too many things to do. I can't say no. So, so many things are pending. I want everything clean. I want nice soft music. I want to be quiet. So that time I gave him Brayonia. Brayonia, everybody knows now, is very hardworking. And at the end of the day, he wants to chill and relax. Yeah. So that's how I gave him Brayonia. <clears throat> then, saying I'm feeling depressed. <clears throat> Nothing is giving me joy. Earlier food and travel would make me happy. Everything is burden. Hmm. I talk less. Instead of one drink, I had three. Okay. Which I shouldn't because I have fatty liver. Okay. So he, he drinks because he wants to feel relaxed. <clears throat> and again he's saying, I want to go away for five days alone. I just want to sit quietly. But I have work. I want to meditate, swim, laze around. But there's no time. And then another dream he had. The plane came crashing down on my building. I was very scared. And another dream was I saw mother, mother and father. I felt very happy, very peaceful. Okay. Then I said I feel better by exercising. I feel like Superman. And then he says, I have a lot of decisions to make. I want to rest, but I cannot. I have a lot of work to finish. I want to drink and chill. I am responsible for my staff and clients. I have a lot of responsibility on my shoulders, which I take seriously. Even if I am not well, I go to work so that I tell my staff, see, I'm not well, I'm still coming to office. So you also better work. I have to be on top of my job. <clears throat> so, then he's telling me, my business is doing well in India. Now, I want to tap global market. So I feel what this fellow is up to. Huh? He can't handle the business here. And now he wants to tap global market. Okay. So, and he's saying, I have only five years before I retire. I need backing of staff to be able to market in USA. I'm trying very hard, which is making me anxious. I like to be perfect, thorough, stick to my commitments. Okay. So, little bit your cancer myism. Yeah. I like to be perfect, thorough. <clears throat> I get anxiety if there are loose ends. I am constantly pushing my team. They are complacent. They are laid back. Okay. I am getting irritated with my staff as they are taking things easy. I want to grow, expand, get global recognition but I get palpitations I need to take my company to another level I like to take challenges I am single person trying to do all okay so that picture I showed you know 
that man going uphill with a boulder so impossible task so same way this fellow is trying to do so many things but he is not able to so then said i watch tv at night to relieve my anxiety <clears throat> again he is repeating you know, like mine has 50 things going on i don't know where to start i am anxious till the client confirms my order okay <clears throat> now see what he is saying i enjoy being with friends i want to take a drug like hashish i want to calm down i want to go into a zone when i exercise a lot the whole body gets numb i wake up late okay instead of early morning at 7 o'clock then i feel like a king okay so when he exercises he can sleep better saying i restrict myself i have limited alcohol i was seeing doctor you know what when i was young i was totally carefree i had no worries i would laugh a lot then saying i am hiring consultants to join me to go to the next level in work but i am only giving dhakka i am only pushing and i have to be there for all their queries the staff have limited capability i feel overwhelmed confused and tired doctor there are too many phone calls my head will burst with the thoughts i want to take all the thoughts from my head and throw them but the thoughts are continuous they don't stop there is load on my head i feel heavy okay something is ringing a bell load on head i feel heavy i listen to music i want to remove all the thoughts from my head and feel light okay heavy light i want to take some drug to be light all you i would be happy after two three drinks my mind would be at ease i would calm down lighten up but now i am afraid to drink i feel better in open air okay does that ring a bell same like the previous patient i feel better in open air <clears throat> i can breathe more freely in the open air i feel more free there is more space and i want to be there with the top manufacturers in the world okay so finally at this stage <clears throat> i figured out is constitutional okay finally after so many years i <clears throat> got his constitutional remedy hmm so anybody has any idea Mm, cannabis because he wants to take hashish yeah it is a plus 2 again i gave you enough hints no heavy light open air space <clears throat> yes i am anu rice lack capri the chinu rice nak pomica yeah so why fabalis nirodita can you say why fabalis second supplies okay that is fagales fagales that is not fabalis fabalis is uh, Fifth subclass. What you're talking about? Talking about is fagales. F a g a l e s. Yeah, correct. <clears throat> so this is again second subclass. Okay. So he's taking up so much responsibility. Where 
is not that much capable right responsibility is a burden for him if he was really naksamika na responsibility won't be a burden naksamika can take up responsibility because naksamika is fully developed anyone else <clears throat> can i be sataiva okay because he wants to take hashish <clears throat> So it is Sapna's tool, okay. But okay, so everybody more or less agrees it is Sapna's tool, and uh, it is not that capricious because there is no mammal issue here, okay. Yeah, opposite responsibility, burden wants to be free, right, Chaya? Handsome as him for sure, yeah, Baganjo, sure, because he is very, he is a perfectionist, and there is so much struggle, huh, in his life. Okay, so let's get further. Let's go a little further in the case. This is not the end of the case, actually. Okay, no. So, so finally, I got the right remedy. So then, this follow up was, "Hey, doctor, I am in very good shape. I am good. I am good. You know, he was very happy and very bubbly. Okay, the anxiety has reduced a lot." I want to relax, travel. All is good. I want to take it easy. I care a damn, and my reflux is also much better. Okay, so everything improves when you are giving the constitutional. Yeah, but then he got renal colic. Remember, I told you he's got a stone in the right kidney. So now the stone has come down into the ureter. So let us see the X-ray, <clears throat> the sonography. So the right kidney reveals mild hydronephrosis with hydrourator <clears throat> due to presence of two calculi in the mid ureter, and the calculi together measure eight millimeters. Okay, so the two calculi were stuck together, and together they measured eight millimeters. Now remember the <clears throat> the diameter of the ureter is ten millimeters. So eight millimeter stone is difficult to pass, okay? But it is not impossible. Yeah, the stone is three, four, five millimeters. It's easier for the stone to come out just with hydrotherapy. Lot of water, it'll come out. But this is eight millimeters, so it's a little bit challenging, okay? But once you know the constitutional, then you can really help the patient. <clears throat> so then, <clears throat> what I did is I gave him hydrangea mother tincture. And I gave the same remedy twice a day for two days. Okay, the constitution. <clears throat> Why hydrangea? Because it's a specific remedy for stored in the ureter. Okay, and it's a mother tincture, so it's not going to interfere with the constitution. Okay, so then <clears throat> after thirteen days of all this, no, he came back. He said he's not able to hold his urine. He had to pass urine often, and there was dull, constant pain in the right side of the back. Okay, and there was burning during urination. Then I changed to Barberis Vulgaris Mother Tincture, and I told him to wait because I I felt now the stone is coming out; it's on its way out. That's why he's getting these symptoms. Okay, but again, this patient, I tell you, he was impatient. Again, he's fond of all the super specialists, so again he went to a urologist. Who advised him to do a sonography? It was shown that the stone had come down to the internal urethral meatus. Okay, so from the mid ureter, it has traveled down and gone inside the bladder, and it's right up to the trigone of the bladder. It's in the internal urethral meatus, and it took thirteen days to travel down. Okay, 
Oh. So this is what the calculus is at the region of the internal urethral meatus. Okay. And because of the calculus, there's a residue in the, in the bladder now. Okay. The calculus is obstructing. Hmm. So it's at the region of the internal urethral meatus. Okay. So again I repeated the remedy. But this guy. He is Mr. Impatient. Okay. Again, he went to the urologist. So that guy, he advised him to do a CT scan. Okay. And the CT scan, it was done at Bridge Candy Hospital. And the still the stone was at the level of the internal urethral meatus. Okay. So there <clears throat> they told him, now we better get admitted in the hospital. The stone is not coming out for 13 days. It is stuck there. You better better. Get admitted, we'll remove it, we'll remove it. Okay. So again, uh, this patient he calls me from Breach Candy Hospital. Okay, you now doctor, these people are telling me to get admitted. What do I do? Huh? So by now I was very fed up of this guy. Like I told him, don't go, but still he went. I said, Okay, do what you like. Huh? So then what happened? Luckily, in that CT scan room, no, he went to the toilet hmm, to pass urine because his bladder was full. And part karke the stone came out. Okay. So, so then he came out of the CT scan room and told the doctor, okay, I think my stone has come out. So immediately they again did the CT scan. So that is the report now. Hmm, so, so here is the conclusion. Terminal urethral calculus which is not visualized on post void scan suggestive of recent passage of stone okay so the stone came out finally after some 17 days of medicine okay so and then what happened <clears throat> everyone started clapping in the CT scan room okay hmm. because the stone finally came out so now, what's the remedy? I have told you it is from subclass 2. Now we have to find the remedy by the inner age of the patient. Okay. So what is the inner age? Is it anal? Because he wants to be in control all the time. He wants to do everything. Is it womb? Because he has that, he wants that love, care, little pampering from his wife. <clears throat> Or is it school? Because he's talking only about his work. Yeah. He's very hard working, wants to tap the global market, whatever. Or like is he adolescent? Okay, he's happy with the like he's not happy with the work which is done in India. And in spite of all these problems, he still wants to go abroad, wants to uh, have a global market. So is he adolescent? Huh? So so what is the inner age now? Someone can tell. Anal. Yeah, it is cancer miasm. <clears throat> Almost cancer miasm. Adolescent. Mature adult. Okay. So, like everybody else here, I was also confused what to give. Okay. Then, then I saw in hemimelidae, cancer miasm is covered by ulmus. Okay. Ah, and ulmus is the remedy in the womb stage in this subclass. Okay. And this guy is 50 years old. Ah, and he's still, he still he has dreams about his father being next to him. And his father is next to him. He's feeling very relaxed. Hmm. Then he wants that love, care and pampering from his wife. Then again, he's, the recurrent dream is there of his parents being there with him. Okay. <clears throat> so, I thought better to give him womb stage remedy and it's covering the cancer miasm also and he had cancer in the past, okay, he had Hodgkin's lymphoma, so I have given him ulmus, okay.
Now let me tell you a little bit about Ulmus from Yakir. Yeah. Mm. So it has <clears throat> it gives impression of smallness and weakness, feeling weak and small, yet ready to give everything a try. Okay. Like he's getting stressed, but still he wants to go work more, right? They find it difficult to overcome hardships. They feel that life presents enormous challenges requiring great efforts to overcome them, as in the cancer miasm. Hmm. So this fits him no properly. <laughs> then he is ambitious, tends to be over responsible, and worries excessively, right? And he's making many plans, cares full of domestic affairs, gets stressed by small issues. Huh? That issue with the aunt was a small thing, no? His wife just put him you know, in a senior citizen home and she's fine. Okay. Trifles seem important. And he, he seeks perfection. He's ambitious. He'll make every possible effort while feeling that most challenges are massive and insurmountable. His first reaction is, oh my God, how am I going to do? Huh? And if he is anxious, thinking of what needs to be done, his lack of confidence, hence he doesn't want to get out of bed early in the morning. He said, no, Mondays are, Mondays are bad, there are too many things to do. <clears throat> and if he is better at night, watching TV and afraid of failure. And this Ulmus people are very, very responsible. They feel the need to worry about their parents, children, grandparents, the house, everything and everybody. Okay. Even in children, children patients, you will see precocity. So they feel that a lot is laid upon them and they are just doing and doing for others till they become worn out. Okay. And Ulmus is same as this elm, which is a bark flammer remedy, which is given for the crisis of confidence caused on by taking up too much responsibility. Okay. Then, this Marcus Greaves considers it as a kidney and liver drainer with activity on the hepatic macrophage, explaining his detoxifying and cleansing actions. <clears throat> so, it works on the kidney, okay? And it, it is also a liver drainer. So, earlier I told you, you know, he had grade 3, grade, grade, grade three hepatomegaly, and now it is grade 0. Hmm. So, the fellow was doing the ultrasound, the doctor. He's saying, how you came from grade 3 to grade 0? Okay. So, of course, he followed a diet plan. <clears throat> but also, this Ulmus has helped him in that. Right? So, that is about this case. Yeah. Hmm. So, little bit he's adolescent, but Main thing is the womb, no? He's so much wanting his parents to be near with him. Ah, I gave him 200 BD for two days and repeated also that way. Hmm. So once you figure out the constitutional, then life gets easy for you. Yeah. So whether it is liver enlargement, kidney stone, jo bhi hai, nikal jayega. Hmm. Any other doubt is there? So it took me eight, nine years to figure out his constitutional. Huh? Because initially, when he was coming to me, I did not know. I, I think that time I just started learning sensation method. That time I did not do not know personal evolution method. Hmm? And of course, this patient was also not very regular. So that also contributed to a late finding of the remedy. 
difference between aromat and ulmus aromat is uh, row 6 now which has to do with power and responsibility mm. <clears throat> and aurum is fully developed okay in that periodic table is the adult stage this guy is not adult actually he is taking up responsibility but he is not able to cope it cope up with it whereas aurum for him responsibility is easy you know aurum is all <clears throat> people who are leaders yeah they take up responsibility easily you know this guy he is taking up responsibility but he is not able to cope up with it whereas responsibility will come easily to aurum he on his own he will take up responsibility and will be successful in it Hmm? So this patient is not orum. Hmm? Like this, if you see the inner age of the patient, you can give a good remedy. <clears throat> now this patient has become loyal he does not run to all those super specialist he sticks with homeopathy okay so likewise in all your patients who are coming for coming to you keep on <clears throat> keep keep on working hard one day you'll find the right remedy for the patient Okay, so uh, we will go on to the next case. You can see my case. The skin, you can see. No, 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 not yet. No, so yes. I have to stop sharing and again share. No. Yes. now you can see na yes case of an old lady no other question no no ma'am okay so uh, this patient i have never seen till now okay so uh, this is a uh, one homeopath uh, homeopathic colleague she called me up and she told me can you treat my mother she is uh, 93 years old i said okay let me try okay so she came to my clinic so this is on 12th of july 23 about a year back Hmm. So <clears throat> you said the morning stool is clear, but what happens? No, <clears throat> there's urging for stool whole day. <clears throat> she keeps on sitting on the commode, and she gets tired. And this is happening since two months. Okay, so that frequent urging for stool is there. Morning one stool is clear, and otherwise whole day she's. going to the uh, commode or sitting in the commode chair you know and in the process she is getting tired <clears throat> and four years back she had a fracture of the femur and she uses a walker okay so get up from the bed take your walker go to the loo or sit in the commode chair you know say so whole day she is doing that so that's why the homeopath was worried <clears throat> also this lady has a stent in the heart and she feels the tablet is stuck in the throat and she feels suffocated she saying now i won't swallow now you give me the medicine in powder form okay then <clears throat> since two days uh, she's got viral fever and there's a stickiness in the throat and she has to 
clear the throat again and again. And then uh, that time she called up her son, daughter-in-law, daughter. Okay. She goes into panic. Then she even calls up the healer. Okay. Because something is happening to me. Like something is stuck in the throat. Okay. Something has atkaud. You know, like something is coming in the way. Something is atkaving. Something is obstructing. <coughs> so that homeopath said, otherwise she is very strong and courageous. Now what has happened? Since past six months, no, three people have died in our family. Our sister died. Sister-in-law died. Cousin whom she is emotionally attached to is very sick. So this cousin, she calls her daily. She gives her money. Okay. And she says, I know everybody has to die. And already she is 93, right? So there's a lot of fear and insecurity. Because of which she wants her son or daughter-in-law around. So <clears throat> they've kept her 24-hour caretaker for her. But still she wants her son and daughter-in-law around. Then she says the GI pipe, that is the esophagus. <clears throat> I feel there's a block. And uh, <clears throat> she's a Gujarati patient. She's saying, Atki gayushe. Like something is stuck, something is obstructing. And again, she's saying, my mother is very strong. Between the age of 82 and 92, she's had a stand. She got a knee replaced. She had a fracture femur. Hmm. So, with willpower, she got out of all this. So many illnesses, she got out. And even the attending doctor is telling uh, that old lady, you are very courageous. Okay, So many problems you had, but you faced it. Okay. Then the homeopath, like uh, patient's uh, daughter, she's saying, <clears throat> uh, she's very caring, <clears throat> very supportive. So she has one sister <coughs> and <clears throat> she's sending ration to her monthly because sister is from poor background. Okay. Now, since two months, there's no TV. She's not watching TV. Earlier, like she would not miss Prime Minister Modi's speech. Okay. <clears throat> there's a lot of faith in Sai Baba. And like I said, she has a caretaker 24-7. But she won't wake up the caretaker. Okay. Like frequent, uh, she has to go for uh, uh, the frequent urge. She has to go to the loo again and again. But she won't wake her up. On her own, she'll go. No, she'll tell the caretaker, no, no, you sit, you eat, you sleep. Okay. So the daughter is saying, Are we are paying the caretaker to look after you. We don't want another fracture. Okay. But this lady, she is very caring. She's saying, no, no, poor thing. She, she must be tired. <clears throat> Let her sleep. Then <clears throat> she had eclampsia during pregnancy. Since then, she's got blood pressure. And uh, she has a stent in 2010, backache, knee replacement, palpitations with menopause. Yeah. Then <clears throat> at the age of 65, um, husband had a factory in Baroda. So he had to stay there. Okay. So she shifted to Baroda for eight years. Now at the age of 65, it's not easy to shift, no, but she did it. Husband was chemical engineer, accountants, accountant. So both of them struggled, okay, to settle in a new place. But this lady never complained, okay. It was very good support to her husband. Somebody is scribbling. 18 years back, husband died. She said he was my soul mate. And that factory which they had was her child. So the whole family, you know, they had to convince her to sell the factory. And slowly she sold it also. But now she feels good about it. Okay. From that factory money, 
she gave two bedroom house to her two sons hmm. and she has two sons and two daughters and she herself sent, stayed in a rented house for three years hmm. and she says this lady took care of all in the family always wears sari perfectly cuts vegetables perfectly will order the best alfonso mango eats the best food always gives garam nasta to us hot snacks to us and even to the neighbors okay she gives food to the caretaker now usually a caretaker no they change shift after 12 hours and they are supposed to bring food with them their own food but this lady she is so kind she gives food to the caretaker also and she is concerned for everyone's health so the daughter says she is a role model for all of us people have learned a lot from her so this daughter no uh, she came to my clinic from some distant suburb okay so i told her why you came could have just spoken on the phone no and given me the history of your mother why you came all the way so at this point the daughter she had tears in eyes she saying no no my mother gave us a very happy and healthy childhood this is the least thing i could do for her that's why i have come all the way okay so uh, she does lot of health related stuff and she feels why the daughter in law is not learning why they are doing routine stuff hmm? she loves to decorate the house and there's craving for sweets banana papaya tea and in panic she talks a lot so the husband taught her english and she said my mother's way ahead of her time she was not educated but still she learned english from her husband <coughs> very disciplined in food and she likes to be up to date house should look good and have good food help everybody that is a mantra in life okay and one more thing uh, one more thing the daughter told about her mother the the cousin's daughter was was studying she was from uh, from out of bombay somewhere and she had come to uh, mumbai to study so for two years this lady kept her in a house and she gave the bedroom to her cousin's daughter okay and she herself slept in the hall okay for two years this lady did that for her cousin's daughter who was studying right so so much care and so much wanting to help others and she said <clears throat> she has ego issue my the husband was of heart husband is emotional but this female is very strong she is very intelligent and she feels what she says must be done okay so this is all the history i uh, i took and i felt this much was enough for me i did not need to ask any more questions so i was done in maybe half an hour or so half an hour 45 minutes hmm and i didn't repertorize nothing like from whatever history i have told you i got the remedy from that okay so let me tell you a little bit about the follow up so then you get a you you see more about the patient in this so this is follow up after one year and she has taken single dose once in 2 3 months okay <clears throat> so she said there's occasional constipation that frequent urge for stool has totally stopped it stopped immediately after the first dose okay <clears throat> there's nothing stuck in the throat now no dry cough she can follow or she can swallow a food properly but she still powders her medicine and has okay now at 94 her mind is very alert but she is a bit sad oh she says now no work of mine is left in this world and on the bed she does all the leg exercises she reads the newspaper daily especially about health related stuff and oh. she knows all I'm about sorry to interrupt whoever ah. is scribbling please stop scribbling on the screen yeah hmm. and she knows all about her helpers their life their health and 
like she'll ask her helper what is happening in your family how are your children are you giving them good food to eat are they healthy so much care is there and no uh, you sending her daughter can the next who is this prince shah <clears throat> she is telling her daughter and then the next uh, birth she wants to become a doctor so that she can take care of people okay so in this birth she is giving food and all that in the next birth she wants to become a doctor and take care of people if anyone falls sick she will tell her daughter to give them medicine immediately and do their investigations if required <clears throat> And she doesn't like if her daughter scolds her caretaker. She say, "Don't tell anything to my maid. She's tired. Okay, you don't scold her. She's fine." And she helps everyone in her vicinity. Okay, the daughter said, "My mother is a pure soul." Okay, so anybody can tell about this. What I gave to this patient. Sub class four, late adulthood. Okay. What else? Arsenic. Arsenic is won't be so selfless now. Yeah, she's giving food to everybody. She's looking after the health. So arsenic, so not here. then uh, <clears throat> vanilla vanilla is like monocotyledon no she is oh, this lady is very selfless monocotyledon will be very selfish then mammal mammal to nahi hai na there is no victim aggressor story she is very sensitive Fifth subclass, coccyus indicus, Co conclusion indicus. I think Anukrita, you mean coccyus, right? The coccyus will be subclass one. <clears throat> And this lady is very strong, courageous. She is very, uh, uh, she is very mature, like an adult, no? Yeah, she is a mature adult. Purnima Chaya, you are right. It's not a mammal because there's no victim aggressor story. Even though she's talking about a family only, it's not a mammal. Six subclass. Six subclass will take up <clears throat> responsibility for others, but six subclass will be like row six in minerals. So it has to do with power and responsibility. But her responsibility is stuck to. People whom she knows, okay. It is not power and responsibility for the whole world. It is power and responsibility only for people whom she knows. So it is not six plus. Any other else? Anybody? Any other suggestion? Okay, we are running out of time, so I'll just tell you what I did. Yeah. Okay. So let us do step by step. Yeah. So remember, I have never seen this patient till now. Okay. 
So she has this frequent urge for stool. Okay. And and morning stool is clear, but the rest of the day it is not clear. So the stool is stuck. Okay. Then he feels even the tablet is stuck in the throat. Okay. And she feels suffocated. Then with this viral thing, the stickiness in the throat, she has to clear her throat. And she goes into a panic and she's saying something is stuck, something is stuck. Huh? With the even with the sore throat. Okay. Then her daughter says she's very strong and courageous. So little bit you get a hint. Okay, she's not in the earlier surpluses, she's a little later. Okay. And overall, when you see the case, no, uh, I didn't get any victim aggressor issue, right? He's very kind and helpful and all that. I did not see any victim aggressor issue, so I did not think of animal. <clears throat> and she seemed to be very confident and self-sufficient. So I didn't see any mineral issue also. Yeah. So I felt it, is, it looks like a plant, but still not sure, right? And the daughter saying she's very strong and courageous. Hmm. That means she's a little more developed. Yeah. And then so many people have died. <clears throat> and then again she's saying the GI pipe is blocked. Something is stuck. Something is obstructing. So as I was taking the case, I saw, see, there's obstruction at the level of the rectum. There's obstruction at the level of the throat. Where that, <clears throat> that the stickiness in the throat and she's going into a panic because something is stuck there. Okay. And again, the third, at the third place, that is at the esophagus, the GI pipe. Again, there's the block. Okay. So that time, a bell rang in my head. Okay, this, is, this is block at three different places. Okay. So this becomes a grand generalization, right? So I was thinking of maybe this is cruciferi family. Yeah. Obstruction. I said, let, let me see. Let's, let me see if I can confirm it. Okay. So then the daughter saying she's very strong very courageous ah, and so much she's doing for others no and everything is about food and care no nutrition yeah she's giving food to others then uh, taking so much care of the caretaker not letting her get up feeding her <clears throat> then again when the husband shifted to Baroda she shifted with him ah, and she was a very good support to the husband okay then, then she sold a factory and she, she gave the uh, flat to her sons. Okay. People do it after they die. No, this female, she did it. And when she's alive, okay, okay, let me get rid of whatever I have to do. Let me do the best for my children. Okay. So she gave two houses to her two sons. And she's taking care of everybody in the family. Okay. Then always giving hot snacks. To everybody, even to the neighbors, okay, giving food to the caretaker. So all is about food, nutrition, love, care, no? Huh? And uh, just slowly as I'm taking the case, I'm confirming cruciferi. Hmm? Then and then imagine giving her bedroom for two years to the cousin's daughter. Okay, so much care is there, no? so much love is there. So much helping nature is there. Okay. And the like daughter is saying, no, she has ego issue. Husband was emotional, but she is intelligent. And what she says must be done. So she is taking up so much responsibility. And all the responsibilities for the family. And all is around food, nourishment. Okay, so this is subclass 4. Okay, and the lower, lower stages. Hmm. So she in this uh, now exactly one year has passed and she's doing much better. Okay. I just spoke to the daughter and she said she's doing much better. So let us see what is this. So we've done subclass two. Now we come to subclass three. What is subclass three? The time of separation from mother's womb. And it is similar to right side of periodic table, row 2. And there's a struggle for independence. Womb is now redundant and is restricting the child's further growth. Okay. So the sensation in subclass 3 is contracted, suffocated, small. 
opposite is expansion feeling bigger okay so this is the time of the labor period when the child is being born okay now this case is of subclass 4 the dilinids <coughs> this is similar to row 3 of periodic table okay now the baby is out of the womb mother breastfeeds the child and nurtures it till it becomes independent so here the main is relation between the mother and child and mothering also called the nutrition line so what is this lady doing She's doing a lot of mothering no She's mothering the husband mothering the caretaker mothering the neighbors giving them food yeah so all this is nutrition line issues hmm? the child begins this stage of development by being completely dependent on his mother and that is the initial uh, initial rose and by the end of the subclass he has to learn to separate from his mother and go out into the world okay so fourth subclass is a time for emotional maturation initial rose they want to remain attached to the mother and family and as we go down the rows, there's increasing desire to detach from the family. They feel stuck with the family responsibilities and they want to be free of this and manifest themselves in the outer world. Okay. So this lady is, is the end stage of this uh, column. And now <clears throat> she said, no, in my next jam, I want to become a doctor and do for others. That means she wants, this is the last stage of subclass four. And then she wants to go into subclass five, where, where, where you do for others. So the inner, these are the remedies of this uh, <clears throat> of this uh, subclass. So what is the inner age in subclass? I'll just tell you a little bit. Womb is womb stage is here. They're not ready to be born. <clears throat> they're not ready for motherhood because they haven't got that basic love care from the mother. So they can't give it to the other. Okay. So there is sensitivity to cold and aversion to food. And nervous system is oversensitive. So common remedies here are hypericum and thea. Then we come to the oral stage. Okay, here we have all those <clears throat> carnivorous plants. Okay. And the soil which they grow, no, it's not rich in nutrients. So they don't get enough nutrition. They don't get enough love and care from the soil. And for food, they have to eat insects. Okay. So what happens? The basic need has not been met. And they have to struggle for existence. So all this leads to feeling of mistrust, betrayal, trapped and pursued. Your common remedy here is Drosera, right? <clears throat> then we come to anal stage. <clears throat> anal stage is about issues relating to willpower, autonomy. They want to be in control. And there's early childhood, playfulness, curiosity, whatever. So <clears throat> both these ages are represented by malware, where the sensation is attached, detached. Joined, then separated and indifferent to everything. Okay. <clears throat> so in this malware, no, there are issues with parenting. Either mother may not be there or mother is like helicopter mother. That means overprotecting, doing everything for the child, giving, feeding him, giving everything in hand. Okay. Or there can be other things like mother wants to abandon the baby, like how we see in chocolate. And then there's the adolescent stage. This is the turning point in the column where the child wants to step out in the world, but it has fear of growing up and taking responsibility. This sense of responsibility paralyzes them and they feel guilty. <clears throat> the common remedy here is cyclamine. And then now we come to the issue of this patient, okay, late adulthood. Now they take up adult responsibility. It covers three orders. <clears throat> One is cucurbitase, where the common remedy is bryonia colosum. So that we know now, Bryonia, they're very hardworking and there's a lot of excessive giving to the family. But the giving is not in the form of emotions, okay? Here it is more material. So they want to make a lot of money for their family. And they can get very angry and bitter if there's no reciprocation from the family. Okay? Then next is Ericales, which has remedies like Rotodendron, Calmia, Lidum. Here also they do a lot for their family and they get bitter when there is no reciprocation. They feel rejected by others and they work hard to be accepted. But they feel isolated from support of their family. Okay. Then there is caparase, which has remedies like raffinus, thiocyanamum, therapsy and cyanopus. All of this belongs to the cruciferae family. Okay. At this stage, <clears throat> this is the last stage, last two stages. 
one reaches the end of the human capacity to shoulder the burden of the family now they are preparing for the next column where love will be extended beyond the family confines okay so she is saying no again i am repeating in the next janam i want to become a doctor and look after others okay they get fed up with family obligations and identity as a provider and want to do more for others in the world but they don't have the energy or the know how to make the change and they feel stuck in this phase okay so we know from the sensation method all this sensation of crucified family no obstruction blocked getting stuck no way out or that right so and the old age is there very few remedies are there so i'm not going into that so this patient i have given cyanabis nigra 200 which belongs to the typhoid miasm typhoid miasm because she is getting into a panic you know all that so that's why i felt cyanabis nigra should be a good remedy for her and it's really helped her i gave cyanabis nigra okay मैं कड़े में सप्लास फाइव डू नॉट सप एशिया नील दे सप्लास सिक्स सप्लास सिक्स विल डू फॉर द वर्ल्ड दे ऑल लीडर्स एंड ऑल वेल दिस लेडी इज डूइंग ओनली फॉर द फैमिली एंड पीपल अराउंड सो इट इज सप्लास फोर ओके लॉट ऑफ केयर नर्चरिंग एंड टेकिंग केयर इज देर any questions are there no question for doni hmm so when you do only for the family it is surplus 4 and when you do lot of not for the whole world from leaders and all that is surplus 6 okay yeah costicum is also benevolent but this is not a oh, mineral case okay so that's why i have given cyanapis nigra so rose shea will be like a warm stage no of the next remedy and she is giving clear cut sensation of obstruction in three different spheres three different uh, places no erectum throat and esophagus okay so that's why we choose crucifer family where we know the sensation sensation is obstruction Okay, so I had one more case to share, but we are over time now. So you want to do the other case, or which we say, Tata, bye bye. These are good good books to read for such type of cases. Then you have to learn the sensation method, learn the personal evolution method. how to differentiate from magnesium because this is not a mineral case no magnesium is row 3 love care but magnesium won't be as uh, developed like this lady this lady is very mature the skin can we continue
what do you if mean? the case is short ma'am we can do that uh, any we were we are out of time but if the case is short then we can have theek hai to i read like ekdam fada fad okay i think i'll do the case because uh, I'll tell you about this. And if it's Nikra and Matira, Matika, I will tell you. Yeah. Best way to understand subclasses. Uh, <clears throat> you should learn the newer methods of uh, solving cases. Like at Musings, we've done the basic course where we've done contemporary methods, how to do sensation method, how to do personal evolution method. And maybe in the near future we'll be doing the course again and uh, yeah that's how that's the best way to understand subclass and of course the books are there by dr mahesh gandhi and uh, also we have this last year one whole year we did plants in detail huh? so you can take the recordings from the musing team hmm. one whole year we've done all the subclasses in detail with cases theory everything and the book by yakir is a uh, wondrous order by, of plants by nikal yakir that book is there but uh, you have to buy it from abroad somewhere uh, yeah so by seriously i'm telling you the best way to learn plants is by accessing the recordings of the plant remedies which we've done we did one whole session last year so i'll do this case fast okay we'll start yes no oh, this is a very old case of mine 2009 okay so it's a female 36 years old and she has this heart stool in 6 7 months and this lady she never had constipation in her whole life okay till she was 36 she never had constipation and now she's getting this constipation okay so any change in bowel habit you have to be you have to be alert right so with this passing stool there is bleeding and then that area pains for 5 6 hours it throbs so there's a fissure diagnosis is fissure in ano the motion is not clear i feel the space is narrow okay so this lady was advised surgery but she didn't want to go for surgery she came to me and she saying she takes castor oil once a day still there's no motion she is very uncomfortable she saying i never had this problem and past history there's herpes acidity and she seeing the stools are not clear i feel that space is narrow there's so much pain that i get goose pimples i put hot water there and i can't sit for 5 6 hours you know the pain is so bad it pains so much i keep on shifting in my seat i feel so bad i stand for 5 6 hours but then there's pain in the thigh okay think i need to travel a lot i do exercise but then too i feel weight I, then too, I feel the weight has increased by two three kilos. Then, so if you are fit, you can finish work. The stool doesn't come down; it's so painful. I sit, get up in toilet for twenty minutes. The place is so narrow that there is no place for the stool to come out. Okay. And then she is giving more description, as if the skin has come in between. There is overlap, so the stool just doesn't pass. okay as if extra skin has come the skin is hanging there saying doctor there no limit to the pain i cry the pain is as if it is cut there i keep on walking i can't sit as if there's pulling inside i keep moving and to make the passage of uh, stool smooth i apply pilex four five times a day okay Then I hold my hips and sit in the loo. 
I get blood clots with stools. And uh, appetite is normal. There's craving for sweets. Sweat is profuse. Menses are okay. Then all this family history, all that. She is uh, can't bear heat. Pulling pain from out and feel ashamed to tell anyone. I cry. There's no stool. Stomach feels heavy. Can't concentrate on work. I keep shifting in my chair. Feel very bad. And because of this pain, she is walking. You know, so she's saying my energy is drained. I am hyperactive. I need a lot of work. I have a hectic life. I handle so many people at work. You think half my day goes in this fissure, then I can do work. I would never fall sick. I was fit. Is there no solution to my pain? Even cancer has treatment. I am energetic. I can multitask. I can't sit in one place. I do work fast. I can't even see a movie for three hours. There's so much work is there. I don't waste one minute. I am target oriented. I will achieve by hook or by crook. I am stubborn. I will do it. He said, my parents were in hospital. Plus, I was working in the office. But I would look after my parents' property. I don't get tired. I sleep well. I have a target. I plan. On weekends, I finish work, even if there are guests. And I will finish work before I sleep. Okay, I don't change my schedule. Then I asked about her family. He said, I'm separated. I had arranged marriage. <clears throat> Husband didn't give me divorce. And they've challenged my case in Supreme Court. I think I don't like destructive work. I have to fight against them. My parents are straightforward. My uncle and I are fighting against my in-laws. And they've done a lot of cases against me. I'm upset about this. I'm winning. Others think I'm very strong. My husband has nil sperm count. He's alcoholic. He had a lot of affairs. There was a lot of domination and restriction from in-laws. They suppressed me for seven years. They're very rich. And a sister-in-law would not let me sit. She would tell me, do work continuously. I was not comfortable with my husband. In-laws did not let us sleep together. They would make me work at four o'clock in the morning. They would make me, they would wake me up at two o'clock and tell me to sleep in the hall. They have money, power, they give threats. They know police officers, they know all technicalities. I won my case in the High Court, so they feel how I can win. So now they the case is in the Supreme Court. Okay. And she's saying going to court is so time consuming, a lot of money goes, I have to lie in the office. And for a little bit money, they are putting allegations on me. I feel insulted. They play with words. I never fight with a loud voice. So there are so many things to be done in life. I want to get out of this. So many days are wasted in court. Okay. Say I'm working since six years. I am stable. My base is good, so I can achieve target. My team is good. I joined company, got promotion every year. I want to create my identity, establish my life. I bought my own house. I don't want to depend on anyone. I'm earning, I'm educated, I do work perfectly, I work very fast. I don't have wavering mind. No. So then she's saying I have a lot of attachment with family. I have good family circle. I, I got high position in my job. But I don't want to go higher because then you have to drink alcohol, attend late night parties. I rather spend time with my cousins. Okay, so this is very important. I like to make diyas, sweets, decorate house. Okay, so I work with attachment, bonding with my team. I have one-on-one -on -one interaction with the whole team. I do smart work, not heavy work. I plan out. I divide work as per capability of my team members. I don't do all work on my own. I don't take work pressure. Okay, so compare it with that Ulmus patient. Okay, he had 60 people under him. He is the boss, but he is doing everything. Like everything is... He is doing and there is so much chaos and clutter. Okay. He is not delegating. Whereas this girl is smart. She knows what person is capable of doing what work. So she is giving the work. Okay. 
she doesn't take work pressure so that means she is more developed than that ulmos patient right she is more mature okay you know, i live life happily i don't give or take trouble i don't take work pressure pressure comes when there's a backlog i tackle the situation i don't panic that guy was panicking no this guy this this lady is very calm so aim is to be happy in any situation I plan for the future. I pay my loan. I save money. Enjoy life. I am satisfied. Because of this fissure, I can't concentrate in my work. I feel very uneasy. I don't like to be unfit. So this is two thousand nine. Okay, compare two thousand nine. Oh yeah. So that time I had report. Whatever pain, as if stitching from needles. Whatever, whatever. Okay, and. Uh, I saw this Ignatia coming up, and she was very responsible, no? Taking so much responsibility, so I gave her Ignatia at that time. So after Ignatia, the pain is little less, but still there. And again, she's telling me the extra thing is hanging out, passage has become narrow, something is pinching me inside. Continuously, pain is poking, and there's pain even though the motion is soft. Okay, why should a soft stool pain? Yeah, so somewhere Ignatia is not right. Cannot concentrate in work. No bleeding. No cracks. Not raw. Thing is not natural. I am stuck because of this one thing. I am not hundred percent relaxed. I avoid meetings due to pain. I could not go to the wedding reception of my best friend due to work. The relationship got spoiled. She knows my routine. She should understand. I got upset. So again, I gave Ignatia. So this is two thousand ten. Place has become narrow. Three skin tags are hanging. It is so painful. Ah, huh? and she's saying, "I want to get divorced soon. It is obstructing me. It is coming in the way. I am stuck because of this. I want to move ahead in my life." Okay, so she said, "This is obstructing me. It's coming in my way. I'm stuck because of this. I want to move ahead in my life." Okay. So now I gave the right remedy. So what did I give? Okay. Bokoholic, very ambitious. King series, anal stage, Naksamika. Argentum nitricum, nitric acid, lactic pinum. Again, Crucifere. Lapsi Bursa, China, Equinum. Hmm. So, anybody else? So, let's do it fast. Oh, there's hard stool. Hmm, place is narrow, huh? Stool doesn't come out. Place is narrow. No place for the stool to come out. Okay, so obstruction. Keep moving. Then she handles a lot of people at work. And target oriented, she looks after her parents. Plus, works in office, looking after parents properly. Don't get tired, and lot of problems with her in-laws. No, huh? 
Huh? Fighting against indoors. And like, they would treat her very badly. I do work perfectly. I work very fast. I don't have wavering mind. That means she's adult, right? Lot of attachment with family. Good family circle. So here you see, what is that? Lot of attachment to family. Good family circle. I've got a high position in my job. But I don't want to go higher. Because then you have to drink alcohol, attend late night parties, or rather spend time with my cousins. So what is this? This is not Naksamika. If Naksamika was so she would have taken that promotion. And to, to get more money. Okay, she is ambitious, but she's at the same time she's content. She wants to spend more time with her cousins, not, not go much higher in a job. Okay. <clears throat> so it is subclass four again. And she's working with attachment, bonding. Okay. And she's smart, doing smart work, not heavy work. So she's developed. Oh. There is a pressure, but but she can handle it. She's more developed. And this was 2009. Okay. So that time I just started learning sensation method. And I felt, Array, this is obstruction and all. What the, person, what the patient is saying. This is again like crucifer family. Okay. And I said, let me try. That time I didn't know much about sensation method. And it was just the initial stage of learning. So I said, let me see something from the crucifer family. So the last line, last Three lines are very important. He said, no, I want to get divorced soon. It is obstruction me, obstructing me. And there was a hand gesture. It is coming in the way. I am stuck because of this. I want to move ahead in my life. Okay, This is coming in the way. I want to move ahead in my life. So it is crucifer family. So again, this patient I have given. Sign up is nigra. And the rectum symptoms are this. Smarting, cutting down in rectum and anus. <clears throat> Constipated, stool hard like balls, smarting, cutting pain, low down in anus after stool. Okay. And this is again the sensation of Lucifer family. Okay. That's it. So, <clears throat> and this was the, like I said, just, just learning sensation method and I got this result. And then I would call up the patient there. No, one or two months I kept on calling. How are you? How are you? She said, Doctor, I'm totally fine. So just with that single dose of Senebus Nigra, this whole issue got resolved. Okay. And I remember I even called her after one year. How are you? Because I could I could not believe okay, one single dose can help the patient so much. Okay. So that's how I said, I have to learn sensation method now properly. Huh? So like that. You have to keep learning, like I said in the initial part of the lecture. <clears throat> learning is like breathing. Very well said, ma'am. Thank you so much for presenting mm. and explaining it so well to all of us. I mm. think most of us want to integrate the contemporary concept and mm. uh, in our daily practice. And those of you who want to, uh, we'll soon be coming up with a course. So you can watch out for the yeah. space. So it is not me versus you, Meera. That main sensation is that obstruction and she wants to go ahead in her life. Okay. And Jigna, it is Sinapis Nigra. Okay. And what is Lack can I Lack the floor is coming. It's all about this narrow space, okay, what well, she's telling. Which table you want the crucifer table? is about this is from Dr. Shankaran's book. The sensation of crucifer families, obstruction, stop, blocked, and blocks do not bother him. <clears throat> hmm. 
differentiate with aloes. Aloes is what? Uh, Liliaceae family, no? So monocotyledon of the subclass 6. This this girl is monocotyledon is usually very selfish people, no? This girl is not at all selfish. She's quite self selfless. Hmm? And it is not subclass 6 issue. Like I told you, she didn't uh, accept that promotion. She's happy with a limited salary. She doesn't want to, she, she wants to spend time with her cousins, not with other people. Right? So it is not allows. Or nothing we are missing, right? Okay, so let's call it a day. Taskin? Yes, ma'am. Thank you so much. Okay. So bye bye, everybody. Bye, everyone.